Yo, what's up guys? Market glitching, day three, and today I'm talking about time frames and how time frames are literally just so useful with any sort of trade, right? You have high time frame sweeps, let's say you have five minute retrace and you trade the one minute. Look, time frames are universal and you can use literally any confluences on any time frame. So watch this video, it's gonna be a shorter video, about seven minutes probably. Uh, but yeah, dude, this one is very important and it's definitely easy later down the path I'll get to more ways you can use time frames But for now, I'm just gonna give you guys a brief understanding of what time frames are and how you can use them. So look I Usually trade on the one minute But just because I trade on the one minute does not mean that I don't use the five minute the 15 minute the one hour and the four hour Okay, and you might ask well car how the fuck does that work how how, how how are you supposed to do that you're only supposed to trade on one time frame right <clears throat> sure yeah sort of right so i submit my trades on the one minute time frame correct so i am the per i'm the type of dude to submit my trades in the one minute because that's part of my strategy and i'll use the four hour the one hour the 15 minute and the five minute to find confluences and also understand more of my trades. So I, I trade on the one minute, the five minute, the 15 minute, the one hour, and the four hour. Five, I think it's four or five time frames. I can't count apparently, and I also barely passed high school, but I'm here making fucking $1,000 a day as a 19 year old, so you can trust me on this. Please just trust me. Okay, so like I said, time frames work on any single pair any single crypto any single stock everything okay you can place a trade on the four hour on bitcoin you can place a trade in the four hour on nasdaq it's the same thing right and you can also have confluences on the four hour on any single time frame and then also have confluences on a different time frame and like i said this works everywhere let me show you Let's say I want to trade today on the one minute on NASDAQ, like I tried doing today, but I just did not trade because of my de-risk strategy. But I found my trade by going on the four hour to find my daily bias, which is a very, very later video I'll talk about. Daily bias is crucial. Blah, blah, blah. Let's say I find a sweep. On the four hour, I mark liquidity again, the four hour. I'll find an imbalance on the one hour, right? Fuck it, imbalance, four hour. Quick quick thing to say, all of this is completely invalid. This is not, this is actually not a trade, not a good trade. And I'll go to the 15 minute to find a l liquidity sweep. A different type of liquidity sweep and I'll find a five minute let's say I'll find a five minute uh, equilibrium okay I'll go to the one minute and place a trade let's say half of the market is gone and let me actually just use my replay. Let's just fuck it. <laughs> right here. We obviously know what markets past this, but let's say... Oh, oh, I'm going to place my trade right when this bar left my four-hour fair value gap. Right? On the one minute, I'm using a four-hour fair value gap with a 15-minute sweep, which was just up here it didn't even get hit but i'm just a dumbass so i'm gonna place my trade right here i'll put my stops above this four hour liquidity and eventually i'll stop I'll, eventually i will talk about stop loss and placements obviously this is a whole freaking boot camp for you guys and eventually you'll learn let's put the let's put let's have the worst risk to reward let's put one percent of my account just to make less. And let's see if I win. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Please. 
please. Oh. I actually won. That was a completely random trade. How about this? Let's become greedy. Let's try to make it a one-to-one -one for no reason except our emotions. Oh! No! Okay, okay this ain't going nowhere. Right? Forget about that. You guys understand, right? Time frames work any single area of the, in any single area of the market okay literally actually let me show you this we're on the one minute with one minute confluences too right here's just a one minute fair value gap let's go to the four hour it's hidden like right here somewhere <laughs> there's that five minute equilibrium but dude this works everywhere as you can see we used a oh i must have used a one minute or a one hour fair value gap a bullish fair value gap and i used rejection off of that one hour bullish fair value gap to make a down one to one and uh guess what it worked <laughs> i did it not like it was a completely valid trade but i showed you uh High time frame confluences, uh, low time frame confluences, they go together, okay? Eventually, I'll talk about daily bias and how other confluences can use different time frames. But, guys, this was a simple ass mother freaking video. This is less than seven minutes. I'm going to make the uh, mind glitching psychology course. I'm going to make day three of that today. I have yet to figure out what I want to do, but, dude... High time frames and low time frames can all be used to make a low time frame or high time frame trade. So, peace out, y'all. Thank you for watching this, and I really hope this helped. I'm learning how to teach. It's hard. Teaching is omega level of understanding, but for me to be able to teach people and have people become profitable and quit their jobs is something I dream of, and that would be very awesome. So, peace out, y'all. I will see you in the next video.